Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hello, I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am joined today on the summit by Coach Allison Jones Olson, the head coach of the Columbia College Cougars. And Coach, I have to say congratulations. Let's not bury the lead at all. Let's get right to it. You just recently won your 500th career match. Uh, the Hampton Inn Classic, you all swept through the entire weekend, but the first one, a victory over Culver Stockton, wound up being win number 500. So congratulations again. Talk about that. What does that mean? Oh, that was exciting. It was exciting to start out the tournament that way and exciting to get to 500. I don't know if that makes me really old since I've been <laughs> in coaching that long or <laughs> or what that means. But, yeah, it was an exciting, exciting moment for us. Well, and I know, by the way, I want to talk about that also, but just to talk about your players, you, you win the, the match and they celebrate and take pictures and stuff. They've got more matches to play over the course of the weekend. You went ahead and got three more victories after that. Uh, were the girls able to focus well and just continue doing things like they needed to? They did. We had a great weekend. We came in. We we grinded out a couple of victories there at the end. We went five with Ottawa, which is a very good team, and, and got the win. But, yeah, they did a nice job. It was a long weekend. It was very tiring the first first tournament too so i was really proud to see that they finished well i'm really glad that uh, everyone is playing volleyball in the fall again i think that's uh, that's where it needs to be and i'm i'm excited about the matches getting to be played uh, coach over your tenure 500 wins not all at columbia college as a matter of fact this is this just the third season in, in which you have been there but you've been prior to this at Central Methodist, uh, immediately prior to this, William Jewell as well, Washburn, uh, Norburn High School for a season, Westminster College for a while as well. Can you take us through your journey to get to where you are now? Well, my, my first uh, coaching job was at Westminster College, and I was hired to coach volleyball and softball, and then it turned into volleyball, basketball, softball, and I also taught, so I drove all the buses, so we did it all there. Um, but great place to start and ended up just coaching volleyball and basketball there and then went to Washburn after that. So um, it's been a long route to get here. I think most of the places I've been, it's kind of been a rebuilding situation for me when I would step in. Most uh, like I know CMU and William Jewell, there were a couple wins before I got there. So um, it's always fun to see those those programs develop and grow over time and when you were at cmu you ultimately took the eagles to an nai national tournament bid that was back in 2018 from there you moved to columbia college and in 2019 you were named the amc coach of the year we're speaking now with coach allison jones olson here on midwest sports net and we talk a lot about small college sports in the midwest and beyond so please consider subscribing to the channel uh, coach in in doing that i mean you come right in there at columbia college and I want to talk about that just a moment about the history of that college as well. But uh, you, you're named Coach of the Year right off the bat. In able to in 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 being able to pick up 500 wins over the course of a career, now 500 plus, you have to be doing some things consistently to you know keep things going as you want them. What are a couple of things that you do consistently? I don't. Know. I think I have uh, good players that that. Um, <laughs> listen and they react and they they play and they they're passionate about the game i think i try to recruit players that love the game as much as i do and that's a good base to start from and then you find good workers and and i think it works works like that i think um, ball control has always been a big big thing of mine too so when you control the ball you control the game and we we talk a lot about that Coach, I know everywhere that you would go, you want to make it your own, and, and you want to do the best that you can for that particular program. Coaching now at Columbia College, there's a lot of history in volleyball with Columbia College, and, and I know that you now have your name added to the list as you took the Cougars to the 2019 NAIA tournament. Columbia has been to 26 NAIA national tournaments, and that's a record. No other school's been to more than 21 as a matter of fact, and uh, of course the Cougars uh, have been in the national title match 10 times, coming away with four national championships. So uh, does is, is this a, a kind of a destination place that you looked for, or what does it mean then to coach now with in a program with that kind of history? 
it's it's a it's a dream come true. I'm excited to be here, and it's a great program. I have great support from from our staff, and the kids come in and work hard every day, and they know the the history behind the program. So we're we're looking to keep keep it rolling. Well, you're doing so now. Six and zero here in the regular season right now. One six straight to start 2021. I. I'm, I'm having to say the fall 2021 season because there were so many volleyball matches that were played in spring 2021. But I, anyway, fall 2021, six and zero. Oh, and this past week, through your performances or the girls' performances, you swept the AMC Player of the Week honors. Let me read these: the Ellie Rockers, uh, Offensive Player of the Week; Jacqueline Silva, Defensive Player of the Week; Luisa Ferreira, Setter of the Week. Can you talk about those girls and and their performances? Well, they've been here the three years I've been here. And I know last year it was a little odd because of COVID, but they all got to come back. And um, and it makes uh, Louise and Ellie both just sophomores again this year. So we'll have them for three more years. So that's nice to see. But they've, they've really bonded. They We play as a team. We play for each other. And it's just wonderful to see them get those accolades. Coach, the season obviously just beginning, and I know that uh, you have a, another match coming up against a, a former team of yours, Westminster, coming up on Wednesday. And then uh, Sioux City, travel up to Sioux City, which is the site of the national tournament. A big weekend ahead, Viterbo, Grandview, Life, Midland. What are you thinking when you're hearing all those names <laughs> and you know they're just about that's three a, or four days away? <laughs> that's, a, that's a really tough tournament. Um, we're going up there. We're gr- excited to see all that competition. And definitely we're going to play one game at a time. And we've got Westminster first, so we cannot overlook them at all. And having them at home. So they're one of our few home matches this year. So, um, but yes, we're definitely looking forward and know it will be a challenging weekend. It's also nice to get up there and play in Sioux City so that we get a feeling for, for that area. And we're, we're planning and hoping to be there come national time. All right. Well, Coach, uh, one last thing too. 503 wins now. I know the number just will continue to, to grow does something like that has it sunk in yet, or is it something that that you think about and think, "Wow, this is this really is kind of a big deal." You know, I think think it's more about the kids that you have in your program. I can think back over all the years that I've coached and all the good teams that I've had, and and I think that's what makes it fun: the players that you get to meet and be around and and still have relationships with. Those are the things you really take away from all that. Well, Coach, congratulations once again, and, and here's to another 500 in your future. And I, I, I wish you well. Success to you and to the Cougars, not only this weekend, safe travels and, and all of that, but uh, throughout the remainder of the season. Thank you so much for taking time with us today here on Midwest Sportsnet. All right. Thank you.